Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs for mobile optimized ebooks please install GK Today Academy app you can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation for regular updates please join our telegram channel the link is given in the description box we have started a new channel civils academy you can subscribe to it if you find it relevant now let's start so the first question is PC Modi that is Pramod Chandra Modi is the chairperson of which organization? So he is the chairperson of CBDT that is Central Board of Direct Taxes. Why he was in news? Because recently ACC that is Appointment Committee of Cabinet extended the reappointment of PC Modi. So he is an IRS officer. IRS stands for Indian Revenue Service. Last year his tenure was extended. Now it has been re-extended. Now CBDT is responsible for direct taxes. Recently CBDT was also in news because of APA that is Advanced Pricing Agreement. So please read about it. This is your homework. What is Advanced Pricing Agreement? Recently there was scheme related to direct tax. Recently a scheme related to direct tax was in news and it is Vivad Se Vishwas. So it was a scheme to settle the direct tax disputes. So it is a direct tax dispute resolution scheme which was announced by the government. Recently the scheme was in use because the last date for the scheme was extended. Next question is India has donated a digital cobalt therapy machine developed by BARC to which country? So this country is Madagascar and it is a digital cobalt therapy machine and it is a machine for cancer treatment. It has been developed by BARC and it is Bhabatron second recently this machine was inaugurated in Anton Rivo and it is the capital of Madagascar now if we talk about Madagascar so this is Madagascar this is African region now coming back to BARC that is Baba Atomic Research Center so this was formed in 1954 and founder was Dr. Homi Jahangir Baba the center was established for nuclear research headquarters is in Trombe in Mumbai in Maharashtra and this center is under Department of Atomic Energy. Dr. Jahangir Baba is considered as the father of Indian nuclear program. Now BARC is also significant because it designed and built India's first pressurized water reactor. So this was India's first pressurized water reactor and this was designed and developed by BARC and it is situated in Kalpakkam. Answer in comment box Kalpakkam is situated in which state of our country? Answer in comment box Kalpakkam is situated in which state or union territory of our country? Next question is Sugamya Bharat app is being launched as a part of which ministry? So recently Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment Thawarchand Gehloth inaugurated this app. Name of app is Sugamya Bharat app. It is developed by Department of Empowerment of persons with disabilities. So this department is under this ministry. Apart from this app, the minister also launched a handbook and name of this handbook was Assess the Photo Digest. So, so the name of app is Sugamya Bharat app and as you can see this is developed by Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities and it is for Accessible India campaign. This Accessible India campaign is related to make our facilities more accessible for persons with disabilities or divyangzans. So it is an initiative related to Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Now Mr. Thawachand Gehloth is the present minister and he is the leader of house in upper house. Upper house is Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha is a permanent house. Chairperson of Rajya Sabha is the vice president. That is vice president is the ex official chairperson of Rajya Sabha. Present vice president is Mr. M. Venkaya Naidu. Now the president can nominate 12 members in Rajya Sabha. Answer in comment box as per which article of Indian constitution president can nominate 12 members in Rajya Sabha. Recently Rajya Sabha was also in news as leader of opposition in Rajya Sabha. Gulam Nabi Ajad announced his retirement from politics. He was from INC that is Indian National Congress and after his retirement M. Khadge that is Malikarjun Khadge became the new leader of opposition in upper house of parliament. Upper house means Rajya Sabha. Next question is which mapping company has integrated into the government's COVID portal? So for the vaccination process government has developed this COVID portal 
and now map my india a digital mapping company of india has integrated its map into this coven portal so as you can see this is a snapshot from the website so in this you can find this find your nearest vaccination center and here it is a map by map my india so on the basis of this map you can find out the nearest vaccination center so this map is integrated on the website of coven so the correct answer is map my india now the first phase of vaccination started on 16th of january and the second phase started from 1st of march these dates are important for certain examinations so please keep them in mind now coven is a covid vaccine intelligence network so this is the name of platform which has been developed by the government for the vaccine delivery program actually before the coronavirus vaccine we already had even even as electronic vaccine intelligence network so this was a program by government of india for entire vaccination process and this coven is just an extension of this even coven is developed for coronavirus vaccine and this even was for all other vaccines next question is which country has launched the satellite arctica m so this has been launched by russia name of satellite is arctica m and it has been developed and launched to monitor the climate in arctic region now for arctic region there is arctic council and the members of this arctic council are iceland norway sweden finland russia usa canada and denmark so total 8 countries are the members of this arctic council please note that india is not a member of this council next question is which digital financial platform has achieved 1.2 billion monthly transactions record recently so this entity is paytm recently it achieved a milestone of 1.2 billion monthly transactions and with this paytm became the largest digital platform in the financial sector which promote all payment methods like wallet upi cards and net banking so the correct answer is paytm now for digital transactions in our country recently rbi that is reserve bank of india launched dpi that is digital payments index to capture the extent of digitization of payments in our country recently rbi was also in news because of pidf that is payment infrastructure development fund so this is a fund for the development of payment infrastructure in our country and the special focus is going to be on tier 3 to tier 6 cities plus special focus will be on the north east part of our country now one question for you and you will have to search a little more for this so please try to do so the question is whether it is mandatory for the banks and the payment networks to contribute in this pidf because rbi is going to contribute in this pidf now question is whether it is mandatory for the banks and payment networks to contribute in this fund next question is fall army worm infestation on crops has been reported recently in which place so it was recently reported in wayanad wayanad is in kerala and it has caused excessive damage to the crops that's why the agriculture department of kerala has issued advisory to the farmers now recently kerala was also in news as it is the place where india's first labor movement museum is to be set up kerala was also in news as it is a first play as it is a first state in our country to provide msp for vegetables it was also in news because of arya rajendran she is the youngest mayor in our country and she is the mayor from tiruvananthapuram in kerala kerala was also in news as it is the first state in our country to have completely digital high tech classes even in public schools public schools are government schools next question is which organization has released the ndc synthesis report ndc stands for nationally determined contribution so this has been released by un fccc that is united nation framework convention on climate change so in simplest term what is this ndc it means every country will decide how much they are going to contribute to prevent the climate change that means what steps they are going to take to reduce the impact of climate change so it is nationally determined contribution that means the countries will determine for themselves that what they are going to contribute in terms of steps to prevent the climate change and it has been prepared in response to the request from cop21 cop21 is also known as paris climate deal cop21 held in paris recently usa decided to rejoin this paris climate deal cop26 
is going to be scheduled. COP26 is going to be held in this year and it will be in UK. UK is also the host of G7 summit. UK was also in news because of D10 grouping. It is a grouping suggested by UK and it is a grouping of 10 democracies to reduce dependency on China for 5G components. Now Paris is in France and India and France have launched the year of environment to increase their to increase their cooperation in the field of environment. Next question is which organization is implementing the next question is which organization is the implementing agency for Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Oshadi Pariyojana. So this organization is BPPI. What is BPPI? It is Bureau of Pharma PSU of India and this BPPI is under Department of Pharmaceuticals. What is the objective of this Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Oshadi Pariyojana? Objective is to provide quality medicine at affordable cost. So why it was in news because the Jan Oshadi Divas will be celebrated on 7th of March and theme is going to be Seva Bhi Rozgar Bhi that means service as well as employment opportunities. Now please note that this department of pharmaceuticals is under Ministry of Chemicals. Logic wise it seems that it may be under Ministry of Health and Family Welfare but please note that it is not under Health Ministry it is under Ministry of Chemicals. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news events. So first news is related to Haryana. Recently Haryana was in news because of a bill and this bill seems to reserve 75% of the job opportunities for the local people of Haryana in the private sector. That means in the private sector suppose there is job creation of 200 jobs. So 75% will be filled by the people from Haryana itself. This is for the private sector and this is for those jobs where salary is up to 50,000 rupees. Next is cafe regulations. So in exam, examiner may directly ask you cafe regulations are related to which field? Cafe stands for corporate average fuel efficiency. So it is related to fuel efficiency or pollution because of vehicles. So cafe re regulations majorly focus on carbon dioxide's emissions. On the other hand, BS norms that is Bharat stage norms focus on the NOx that is nitrogen oxides emission and SOx that is sulfur oxides emission. Full form of CAFE stands for corporate average fuel efficiency. Next is Nag river. So recently this river was in use because of pollution abatement project. This river flows in the city of Nagpur. In fact Nagpur derives its name from this Nag river. Next is exercise desert flag. So this exercise is multinational exercise and it is hosted by UAE. India is going to participate in this exercise. It is Air Force exercise. So obviously Indian Air Force is going to participate in it. Next is Better Than Cash Alliance. So this is an alliance of United Nations. Now recently Addition Alliance was also in news. Answer in comment box. This Addition Alliance is associated with which organization? Now coming back to this Better Than Cash Alliance. This alliance is related to promotion of digital payments. Recently this Better Than Cash Alliance in association with Government of India and FIC organized this Merchant Digitization Summit 2021. Next is Vernon Jordan. So recently Vernon Jordan passed away and Vernon Jordan was from USA and he was civil rights activist. Next is West Container Terminal. So recently this West Container Terminal of Colombo Port was in news as Sri Lankan cabinet approved BOT proposal that is build operate and transfer build operate and transfer proposal for the development of this west container terminal of Colombo port and for this three countries are going to be participant these three countries are Sri Lanka India and Japan India and Japan will have 85 percent stakes in this west container terminal of Colombo port please note that recently Sri Lanka was also in news because of east container terminal as it unilaterally cancelled that port project that means it announced that it is not going to cooperate or it is not going to collaborate with any other country for this port project. Next is related to AIBA Champions and Veterans Committee. AIBA stands for International, Back International Boxing Association. So this committee was in news as Maricom has been appointed as the chairperson of this committee. Maricom is from India. Now you will now please answer in comment box she is from which state of India since she has been appointed as the chairperson of this boxing committee so obviously she is a boxer next is SBI it is State Bank of India recently SBI joined 
L I I N K link. So it is a platform of JP Morgan and it is a blockchain based payment network of JP Morgan. Next is Kelo India Winter Games. So these winter games held in Golmag and Jammu and Kashmir won the highest medals in these Kelo India Winter Games. So these were the most important news events. Now get ready for the test. Please try to attempt the test without pausing the video. And one good way to attempt the test is take a pen and copy and just play the video and try to just write down the answers in your notebook. Once the time is over, then you can write down your scores. Then you can write down your score or the answers from your notebook. But at that point of time, that means when timer is going on, you should just focus on these questions. So get ready for the test.